Now the Form Tadson video on using the field mask and use the mask value functionality. Now, what is a mask field format? It's the mask field format is applied to a text box element and enables the form owner to collect data in a specific format. So <coughs> I'll demonstrate a couple of examples here. Um, let's just take this mobile field um, and I've sort of styled it so you can see why it's unique. Um, what we're going to do, we, we're simply just going to add a telephone number which has three digits, a space, three digits, space, and four digits in the end. So how do we do that? We'll click on the text box, go into settings, and the field mask is, I'll tell you what, I'll type it again. So N N N space N N N space N N N N. And now as you can see, there are three lines here, <coughs> and that's what really field masking is that it allows you to capture the data in a specific manner. So now I can just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. So you can see how it's got that. But without the mask, this will all be together, so you will not be able to get it in a specific format. Um, I'll use another example quickly. Uh, this will be two letters, a hyphen, and three numbers. So the format would be something like this, A, A, hyphen n n n so now <coughs> if you're just capturing a code or something you would type in n n one two three so that's what mask functionality is so what we'll do is we'll, we'll just push this mask functionality into the system so we'll just go back to our standard and done so let's go ahead and test this out so we're going to a preview we'll type in joe blogs Joe at ft.com and then we'll go one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and then <coughs> as I submit this form you'll see that it's created it here and the first part we discussed is the mask functionality so now it's pulled all the data in there but as you can see there are no lines like we captured it so it's not coming through like this it's coming through in the format all together. So this is where the functionality, you use mask value functionality comes into the play. And I'll show you how this works. Once you go back into the form titan and in your form builder, you can see that we've got the field mask, but if you now select mask value, <coughs> look what happens. So first what I'll do is I'll get rid of this Joe Blogs and we'll create another one. So now if I just go back in here and go ahead and preview this, remember we would just tip use, use mask value. We'll go in there and we'll say Joe blogs and we'll say Joe at ft.com and now we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And if I submit it, let's go and check in the integration log. <coughs> There's a record created but now you can see the use mask va value functionality one, once it's ticked, it delivers into Salesforce with the format that we intended in the first place. <coughs> so it's a double value in there. So that's how easy it is to set up a mask value um, as well as use the mask value functionality. So the first thing is you need to set up your mask value. And if you don't tick this, it will pull through in the data by default. But if you tick it, it will also pull through the mask value that's been masked into our text box field. It can be anything. Um, you will need to save your form and then you are good to go. So that's how it works. That's how the field mask and use mask value functionality work, works. Thank you for watching this video.